Hello folks and welcome to this week's show. First up today, we'll be exploring the creeks of North Carolina with two wild and crazy guys. Now this is another wild show brought to you by the folks at Outdoor Quest. If you're wondering what lurks in the creeks of North Carolina, then you'll not want to miss this show. So stick around, we'll be right back after these messages. This week's Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV is brought to you in part by Camelback Hydration Systems. Do you have a camel on your back? And by Bole Sportswear and Sunglasses. Also by Buckbuster Scents. Scents for the serious hunter. And by Carolina Outdoor Hunting and Fishing Supply. Hunting and fishing products at an affordable price. And also by the fine folks at the Triad Bait Company in Lexington, North Carolina. Buckbuster Sense has been the chosen deer tracking and cover sense for both guides and professional hunters for years. Try our pine cover scent, acorn cover scent, wild apple, and new this year, sweet corn. And if you need a doe or bucket tracking made from our 100% natural formula, then try our doe estrus or buck urine, Stone Mountain Passion, to get that leery buck curious or Stone Mountain Buckbuster to make that mock scrape. So, if you're looking for a good hunting scent at an affordable price, check us out on eBay at Carolina Outdoor Store or on our websites at The Great Outdoors and Beyond or CarolinaOutdoorStore.com. Buckbuster Scents, scents for the serious hunter. Hey folks, want to keep up with the Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV team? It's an easy thing to do. Just like us on Facebook at Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. And you'll be able to keep up with the behind the scenes clips, bloopers, news and videos, and a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Like us today. Well folks, here we are at our destination. Got uh, Neil Houston down here in the creek. That's right, I said creek. You know, we try to do some strange things on this show. And Neil's got me doing something even stranger this week. Today we're going to be doing some turtle gravel in there if you're just tuning in. Here in Catawba County. And uh, we got Lee Allen and his brother Charles. And they're what we call professional turtle gravelers. So we're going to find out. So just stick around. I'm going to find my way down here in the creek and get in the water. And hopefully along the way nothing will bite me. Nothing will jump on me. But uh, if uh, you folks have never seen anything like this before, <laughs> you're in for a treat today. But come on down. Let's get in the water and uh, see if we can survive this next 30 minutes. Run. Sure about this. Something comes up, wraps around these legs or something. I'm not sure you can picture that. I wish you told me this wall was going to be cold. Work, don't 
Maybe we should go there and see this boy's house. side folks these guys are really good at what they're doing we've been with them a couple times other than the fact that they're really good at what they're doing they're not all there either I mean you know let's face it <laughs> you're sticking your body in a place where all kinds of slithering things live I mean how, how much in how much you know stable can you be Fingers? What about, what about fingers? Will he eat fingers? Yep. Eat a finger occasionally? He eat, eat lady fingers, wouldn't he? Yeah, he bit mine before. We're going over the, uh, what, 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 a, what a turtle will eat menu. Um, he'll he'll yeah. eat about anything like it. You know, he'll eat about anything. If something falls in the creek and it's rotten, you know, they'll come to it. They're, they're like a carnivore. They'll, they'll hey, Lee, anything. hold up your hands. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm because they'll eat fingers, too. They also eat black berries. Black, black berries. berries. What kind of a, what kind of a creek do you like to see as far as a, a, a bottom? Uh, well, is this a good bait? I mean, sandy, muddy? Well, this is a good creek. Okay. Okay. So they like to have a creek about like this then, huh? Very good. You ready? Ready? I know you you're ready? Gonna hold of you. Ready. I'll stop. Here you go. Get that sink ready, Neil. Come here, Charlie. <laughs> hold this. Get that sack ready, Neil. Got him? <laughs> we got us a <laughs> one turtle. Got here, it, folks. Yeah, he got it. Oh, yeah. 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 Whoa, oh, watch out, Carol. He I'll is see. bad. Now, what kind of is that? That's a yellow shell. That's a big old yellow shell. Yellow shell, Ooh. baby. Is that turtle mad or what? He's mad. Now, do you think that's... I know I can't find it. Uh, stop. You said hold your hat. I just have... Lee, you think that's the one we saw right here? Yeah. yeah. This coot has been out here. We were kind of we were kind of just standing around talking. I looked down and seen a bunch of marks on the ground where it looked like the turtle had been... Up here on the thing eating some berries I and I told Lee I about it. I said, well, I you know, I said, there we go. 
Okay. That's what it's all about. Thank all right, Neil, now you got something to lug in that sack. I'll let you, <laughs> yeah, I'll let you tie him up. <laughs> Bray, you want to drop him in like this? Is he mad or what? Hold the sack up. <laughs> Get your sack. Watch your leg there, lady. <laughs> He's looking for something to bite. Oh, man. Here, you Charles, put him hip in the sack. Do Neil how to put him in there. Well, I have to hold sack of you. All right. Time up like you want to tie so you wouldn't get out. All right. There we go. I know that cooter yeah. was there. I can't, I can't tell the nice thing. You said hold your hat. I'd stop. I know that cooter was Good there. Good sacking, Neil. Good sacking. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, that cooter was back there. there. Was he really? Well, about 12 pounder? About 12. <laughs> See what happened, don't you? I stopped. You see me. what happened, don't you? Tell him he's got big, longer arms. Big brother whooped you again. Okay. <laughs> well, then I go home and tell Daddy I come right back where you done been and huh? caught one out of money. I stopped. <laughs> I stopped. You said hold your hat. I just stopped. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, you did make okay. him hold just, your hat. But you went stopped. by that hole and came back to it. I stopped. All right, I, 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 just, hands off it. I just stopped. All right, I'll let it ride this time. You said, you said hold your hat. I just stopped. I know well, you I'm going back. Uh, uh -oh. There's too many. There's too many tore up. Yeah, there's a lot of We just happen to notice this tore up space. I don't know if we can get it on the camera here, but you can see where. I got it. Turtle's been out here, and if you look right here, you can see where his tail, where he's been dragging his tail. And you can't really tell any claw prints except for a few places, but, uh, you know, the place right here looks pretty defined. But uh, I asked Lee, I says, Lee, is this where a mushroom's been or a turtle? Nice, it looks like the turtle's been up here eating all these berries. They went back underneath that bank, and sure enough, about 12 pounds. Yeah, man. Now, Neil, you go. you're going to be lugging something now, huh? We got all these golf balls. Well, you know, now you got a turtle. I don't mind. We'll watch to see if he bites through that burlap bag. Mm -hmm. He won't be biting me. Mm -hmm. You collecting golf balls? Well, we're right below the golf course. Neil's a golfer. No, I'm or, not. well, ex-golfer. You know, and uh, we're right below the golf course here, and uh, he's got more golf balls than we got turtles. <laughs> but we're not really in the turtle catching department. That's not our job. We're more or less right now. I guess we're in the golf ball collecting department. So when we empty out the sack, there's probably going to be a lot of golf balls in it. <laughs> What are you going to do with all these golf balls, by the way? I'll give them to my brother-in-law. Okay. He's just starting to play. He needs. You ain't going to put them up the store and try no, selling them, are no, you? No, no, no. Because no. that would be something you'd try doing. No, no. Okay, all right. If you guys go up there outdoor quest, you see a bunch of golf balls. You know where they came from. A bunch, bunch of water logs. Water log just golf tuning in. Today we're in a little creek here at the top of county doing something just a little bit different. We just tuned in and seen us wading around the water. We're out here doing some turtle gravel. Today we got Lee Allen, his brother Charles, Neil Houston from Outdoor Quest. And uh, we already got one turtle. Neil been complaining for the past hour. His bag was light. He's got one in there now, so I expect you'll be hearing him complain now because he's got to carry the bag. But, uh, we've been up this creek here. It's probably been about a mile. And um, this is really, really something interesting, you know, interesting to do for some of us, not for me, but uh, it, uh, you know, I guess you got to be uh, a little brave and a little bit, maybe more, a little bit more of an outdoorsman than myself to do something like this, but, you know, these guys, what they'll do, you'll watch them and they'll be reaching up underneath these banks, feeling for whatever, and uh, sooner or later they just find a turtle and yank them on out, so this is something that, you know, pretty popular back, back in the 20s and 30s, 40s, somewhere, you know, in, in that area. Uh, some guys still do it now, just they do more or less do it for sports. So let's go ahead on up the creek. They're getting ahead of us a little bit. We'll tell you a little bit about what this is all about and see if we can't get us another turtle. Get your bike. Go ahead. <laughs> Put your hand right there. Get your hand right down in there, Neil. Do that swag. Yep. There is. What coat's been set? I don't know what's going on. I don't know where you're at. Just a little bit of in there like that. Get that in the bottom of the creek. Still got him. Don't see no turtle though. <laughs> well, you think I was gonna stick my hand in there if I knew there was a turtle in that hole? <laughs> I thought that's what he was doing. I figured, man, he'd be putting your hand on a turtle. Ah, oh, here's one. I got one here. I think I got one. I'm gonna jerk him off. I always say, how do you call that? You gotta jerk him out of his shell. All right. 
There he is. Look at that, Neil. Huh? Pretty good, huh? He ain't got no head or legs or anything, though. Hello? Hello? Lights are on, but nobody's home. Well, I've officially been classified as a turtle graveler, I guess. <laughs>